welcome you all today we are going to talk about another topic and this time it is phoneme and allophone or we may say what is the difference between a phoneme and allophone this topic from the subject phonetics and english phonology english code 203 we already have conducted nine lectures this is our lecture number 10 so without a further go let's talk about our today's topic what is phoneme we already have defined this word, but once again, because we are going to make difference between allophone and phoneme. Phoneme is actually, it is the smallest unit of sound in a language which can distinguish two words. For instance, A. In English, the word pen and ben differ only in their initial sounds, pa and ba. Otherwise, if you look at these two words, a -N and A N are the same. So only there is difference between P and B sounds. So these two different sounds in different words is known as phoneme. Here is another example. The word Ben and Bin differ only in their vowels A uh, and A. So these two uh, differences are uh, the differences of pronunciation in different words is called phoneme. Here is C another example sa in sip and za in zip are two different phonemes. English is often considered to have 44 phonemes, 24 consonants and 20 vowels. It means to say all the sounds in English um, are in any language is known as phoneme. And if we are talking about English, there are 44 phonemes and those are divided into consonants and vowel phonemes. Here I would like to tell you what are vowel sounds. Sounds in which the air stream from the lungs is not blocked. If you look at the pictures, when we are pronouncing E, A and all other vowel sounds, the air stream uh, is not blocked at the mouth. On the other hand, when we are talking about consonants, sounds in which air stream from the lungs is either completely or partially blocked. If we are looking at the picture, so the mouth is closed when we are pronouncing the phonemes pa, ba, ma. So such um, phonemes are known as consonants in English. So what is allophone? Allophone is a phonetic variation of a phoneme. Mean to say the same phoneme has been pronounced differently. Think of the consonant T and the sound it makes in the word stop. Now compare it with the pronunciation of T in the word top. In the later word, most native speakers use the aspirated form of T. It means to say when we are talking about the pronunciation or sound in the word stop and top here t is been pronounced differently this is stop and this is t and here it is t and t is sound is known as aspirated form of t aspirated when we are talking about when the word is pronounced and the puff of air comes out of the mouth and the mouth or the position of the mouth is open so such sounds are known as aspirated sounds. So the same phoneme T is actually pronounced differently into different words. Or um, uh, this is uh, uh, this variation is known as allophone. However, substituting one allophone for another allophone of the same phoneme doesn't lead to a different word. It only creates a different pronunciation of the same word. It means to say the difference or the variation of the same phoneme um, when we pronounce is not actually uh, the difference of the words but difference of the pronunciation. For instance, here is another example. The same uh, phoneme pa has been pronounced differently in different words. Now in pot, this is aspirated, mean to say the air puff comes out of the mouth when we are pronouncing this p in pot and spot. This is unaspirated, the air puff does not come out of the mouth when we pronounce spot and type. This p is actually unreleased uh, sound. 
as and he is not her type. So the theme phoneme pa is actually pronounced differently. Pa, pa, pa. So this difference, a variation of the same phoneme um, and different uh, pronunciations is called allophone. These aspirated, unaspirated and unreleased sounds are all heard and identified as the phoneme P sound. Here I must explain, I already have explained, but what is aspiration? A puff of air, a caustically a period of voicelessness after the release of an articulation, for example in English the stop consonant P, T, K are aspirated when they are syllable initial as in the initial sounds of pi, tie and kite. So when they are initially used uh, these sounds P, T and K as here into the words so they are aspirated mean to say a puff of air comes uh, out of the mouth and those are called the aspirated phonemes. When these phonemes are preceded by S, example in Spain, stairs and scat, there is no puff of air and these sounds are unaspirated. Hopefully I have explained what is aspirated, unaspirated and unreleased sounds in allophones. And this variation in phoneme is known as allophone. Thanks for attention. Thank you very much. Hopefully this would have been very helping for all of you.